Today I just plan to cover the topic virtual machine available to yourself. It's a part of AZ104. So what is the learning objective today? Availability option. What the availability option in the Azure portal? An availability set, update domain and party domain. So first we will go for the availability option. So what is the availability option? So example, once you deploy in your virtual machine in the Azure portal, Azure portal is showing the availability option. So availability option will be provide the infrastructure redundancy. So what is infrastructure redundancy means? Example, any hardware failure event will be occur, any planned maintenance will be occur. You don't want to face the single point of the failure of your virtual machine. So Azure will be supporting for the infrastructure redundancy. He will be provide for the availability to virtual machine scale set and availability set. So today we will take one set of availability. We will take for the this topic availability set. So remaining availability soon and virtual machine scale set I will cover for the our next section slide. Okay. So first we will go for the availability set. So what is the availability set? Availability is the group of related virtual machines are deployed together. This group will be prevent the single point of the failure. Example, you deploy your virtual machine in the Azure portal. Okay. They have a data disk. They have virtual network and power out. Okay. So once you will be put to your virtual machine, if any single failure like this one, hardware failure or planned maintenance, anything occur, the virtual machine will be down. Right. If you, you need to prevent this type of event. So what do you need? You need to put this virtual machine in the deploy in the virtual machine scale set. So once you put this virtual machine will be in the scale set. What happened? Across the area, across the server or across the lab, the same virtual machine will be distributed. So you can see the rack on rack to rack three. You can create this will be create the actual availability set so what is when vm is availability set actual can distribute the vm across the multiple physical server computer rack and storage unit and hardware network switch this ensures that if one hardware command is failed the entire availability set is not taken up so if example your virtual machine is will be down you not face any single point of the failure why because you have already rack one rack two and the rack three the availability set of the vm is available so this is the availability this will be help for your redundancy okay so when you place your vm in the availability assure will be generated across the fault and update domain so we will cover for the what is the fault and update domain so once you go for the Azure portal once you when you create the availability set you can see here faulty domain and update domain so I just uh, go for my next slide. What is faulty domain and what is update domain? So we will go for our uh, faulty domain. So here you can see rack one, rack two, rack three, and we will faulty domain one, fault domain two, and fault domain. This is the complete availability set. Okay, this one is the availability set. So what is fault domain? Hardware isolation for events in case any failure such power or network. Faulty domain provide the hardware failure very important they will provide only hardware failure redundancy if example you were you if an example happen any failure for your power or any failure for your network or any failure for your actual mission what happen you don't face any single point of the failure because the faulty domain 2 and faulty domain 3 will be available it will be provide the continuous the redundancy so we will go for one example so here you can see rack 1 down. So what happened? Rack 2 and rack 3 will be updated because already they will provide the redundancy. So when hardware failure rack 1 goes to down, only the VM is faulty domain 1 is only affected. The VM faulty domain 2, 3 still running because they own separate hardware. So it will provide the redundancy helpful for prevent the single point of the failure. So I think you can understand faulty domain will be provide the hardware redundancy because if you fail any uh, example any uh, like a power outage or network failure or vm failure 
you have get the redundancy because you are available for the party domain 2 and party domain 3. So what is the maximum default by 2 maximum you can provide 3. So next we will go for the update domain. So what is the purpose of the update domain? Update domain mainly concern for the software update for the host. Example, you want to update this all the virtual machine. Okay, so this is the scale set. Scale set means this is the complete availability set. This is the availability set because DM domain one, domain two, domain three, and domain four and domain five. So once you the example, you need to apply the virtual machine update. So you want to update this VM. So software updating will be start only updating this domain one okay you can understand this domain only remaining all the domain two three will be updated you not face any single point of the failure because only one domain at a time will be updated and restart remaining all the domain will be available so after finish the update domain one it will be moving to the update updating the vm number two so this process will be continue sequency process the planned maintenance is only one update domain will be updating at the one time and remaining will be available so you not face any uh, single point of the failure after finish the update and restart then then move to the next update so here is saying uh, update vm is update domain one first after those vms are updated and then restart it will be moved to the second update domain two will be the process will be this process will be continued so update domain maximum uh, 20 and by default 5. So now you understand the faulty domain is give the hardware redundancy and update domain is like the software update like the okay. So we will go for the differentiation between the update domain and faulty domain. Domain type update domain it's used purpose of using software isolation for update. Faulty domain is hardware isolation for the redundancy. So what's the uh, details is like default five update domain is available and 20 you can update okay and vm divided integrity across the domain and domain update sequence is in the maintenance means one update domain will be updated and restart then only move to the next update domain update 2 or update 3 domain 3 4 like this it's a sequence process okay in faulty domain is like a hardware redundancy they will share the hardware like a switches or network or like this one and default is only two and you can up to the three okay this separate vm across the server you can see it's separate across the server rack and infrastructure it's rack one rack two rack three okay and provide the redundancy if the hardware fail very important multi domain provide the hardware failancy redundancy and update domain is software update okay so now you understand what is update domain and party domain and what is the availability set okay so we will go for the Azure portal and I will show you how to you can create the availability set okay. So now we will reach our Azure portal. So just we first go to create one virtual machine just to click this virtual machine. I will show you. So just to click create actual machine just to create the Azure virtual machine. See here you can see the availability option. No infrastructure redundancy required. So here you can see availability sold virtual machine scale set and availability set. So when you create the virtual machine, you can see the availability option. So now we will go for creating availability set. So how do we can create the availability set? Just here you just type availability set. You can see this one availability set. Just click the availability set okay we will move to the available so here you can see the availability set. just to click the create availability set just to click this one after that you can select your uh, resource group select whatever the resource group you need okay then after that give the name okay vm1 demo availability set we will give you example demo availability. VM demo availability. So you can select your region. So faulty here you can see faulty domains 2. Default 2 you can up to 3. Okay. Update domain 5 you can provide up to 20. You can see and so we will go for our uh, default because you can give you up to 
two and three. Okay, then you can manage this. It's like let's have it. I will discuss you later. Okay, then you just review next advance if you need to give give approximate placement group. Proximate placement group allow you to group your Azure resource physical closer together in the same region. You want to provide in the same region. Okay. So now I will just go for the default. Then we will go for the next tag. Then you want to enter the tag. Just enter the tag. Next we will just click the review and create. Okay. Just we will waiting for the validation. So now the validation is completed. We just click create. Okay. So now what happened? Your availability set will be created. So after you create your availability set, you just go for your virtual machine. You just uh, you just add your availability set in the virtual machine. So now we create our availability set. Okay. See now the availability set deployed. Come just to click the our resource group. We will check the our availability set. Just to refresh again. So now the refer, you can see our availability set is there. Okay. So now we will go for create one virtual machine. Okay. Just click this virtual machine. Create button. Then you can select the actual virtual machine. Here you can type virtual machine. Virtual. Okay. Just select virtual machine. Then we will create the virtual machine and add the availability set. Okay. Just click this one. Then just click create. So here you can see now we will give with our redundancy for available test set. Then they will tell you choose your available available. We can choose. See, we are already create our we will choose this availability. So this is a process. Then you can review and create your virtual machine. So now you understand how to create the available test set and how to add the available test set in the when the virtual machine is deployed so we will go for again what we will cover today so what's the lesson we will cover today so first we will go for the available test set available test set is a group related to virtual machine are deployed together this group will be prevent the single point of the failure okay so next each virtual machine in the available test set have one update domain and one faulty domain okay VM can assign to an availability set during the initial deployment. Only you can assign your VM availability set initial once you deploy the VM. Okay. After deploy the VM, you cannot give the availability set. Okay. Very important point. And update domain provide redundancy software ISO. Update domain concerned for the software ISO isolation redundancy default to 5 and maximum 20. And faulty domain hardware isolation for redundancy only provide hardware redundancy okay if the any failure will be occur the hardware okay and it will be provided two and maximum three so now i will plan to wind up my topic i think you understand uh, the availability set and uh, faulty domain and update domain okay so if you have any doubt related to the topic just comment in my channel i will thank you so much for your support